Uh, my name is Johnny Pucci, and I'm a San Diego-based artist and muralist. I mean, I've been making art my whole life. Murals has really just been probably within the last three years or so. I have a mural um, that I finished in January that's down in Golden Hill. It's on the side of G-Fit Gym uh, across from Buena Forqueta. Um, so that one's been up for, for a little bit. Um, you can follow me. Uh, Instagram's probably the best. I'm at Johnny Pucci. As an artist and in my craft, my goal is always just to try to create positive change, whether that's social or environmental. I want to send a message. Art's a tool, uh, like so many things. And so if you use that tool to try to help people make a better world for everybody, that's, to me, the best use of a skill that you have and of art in general. We are about a block away from the North Park sign. It's like Kansas and University, and it's on the Pekin Cafe, which, as I understand it, is the oldest Chinese restaurant in San Diego. Well, originally our restaurant started in 1931, my father was one of um, a few members of our family who began this restaurant. This used to be an old, um, I think, furniture building. And my grandfather and I believe six other members of the family purchased the building and wanted to start a business. I love North Park. I, mean, we did, I didn't live here, but we grew up here and I love seeing the different phases. I like how, how diverse it is. I love a lot of the small businesses. I'm a big supporter of that and there's a lot of art in this area so I think it's a really awesome representation of a little bit of everything. It's changed a lot and I'm happy to see that it's growing, it's thriving and you know like everything in this world everything has its, its course, its waves. So behind me have Ahmed Arbery who was recently killed and also Brianna Taylor who was also recently killed. Um, these were two very devastating acts of violence. This piece I just made two weekends ago during the Black Lives Matter protests, and I made it over Saturday and Sunday. And I just, probably like a lot of people, felt really overwhelmed and just get out all the feelings that we're all having right now about everything. And so I thought the best thing I could possibly do is try to send a positive message with my art. It's a moment in time. It's a, these people existed. You know, their their lives matter, and so I I hope so because it's this is a moment, and I think having them as art is kind of solidifying them. I was just riding my bike around looking for places like where can I put up some kind of artwork? Where can I do something? And I rode past this and saw that the windows were boarded up and I thought that's perfect there's two windows there's like a cemetery going on and so I contacted uh, the family that owns the restaurant and asked them if they'd be okay with it. I was mostly talking to, to Stephanie Fong and um, she was like really into it and said that her family was really into it and her her father came by you know this was his restaurant from what I understand he opened it you know back in the day and so for him to come by and say, thank you so much, this means a lot, I love it, you know, that, that meant the world to me. I was actually very excited, very, um, very honored for him to ask us, because our family are big fans of art, I'm an artist, so it was, it was such a great way for us to show that we, we cared about what was happening, and that we care about life, and that we want to spread love. So we were very happy to be asked. For my parents who are older, like they don't understand everything that's going on and then to just kind of tell them the story of you know, who these people are and what's currently happening. I think it helps, you know, they felt sad about why this is happening. And I think, you know, even though this, I don't believe this to be a political statement, I think it's a statement of civil rights of human and humanity, you know. They were a little bit afraid at first because it might seem political. We don't know how people will respond. But at the end of the day, I know it's important that we represent. We help represent each other and support each other and have art that supports something that should matter to all of us.
it means a huge thing for us because this restaurant has seen so many things throughout the years. It's been here since the 30s. And so I think even though we've closed our doors just over a year, that we are still here and we're trying to still be relevant in some way to what is currently happening or what we're waking up to. And so for the community in North Park, I hope what they give everybody is reflection, hope, to make sure that we don't forget these people's names and, and that we continue to keep moving forward. These murals are here to kind of honor and pay tribute to their lives because there still isn't justice for what has happened to them. And these may only be two people, but this has been going on for, for, for centuries. The reason why we're here today is because we been, haven't been having these conversations. You know, growing up, we're, we don't talk about race, we don't talk about politics, but I think that just shelters us from what's really happening. And more than talk about it, it's important to listen, to listen to different point of views, to listen to other experiences. I think the more we talk about it, less people will be afraid of confrontation and then hopefully educate themselves. Because this is not something we should be afraid to talk about. It should be something that's normalized. You know, if we're going to relate to one another and live up and coexist together. I think art helps provide a way of expression for those who are feeling a lot of things and also to those who are pre who can see the art, you know, just a sh maybe a moment of feeling like they can relate, that there's some solidarity, that other people care, that we're not alone in this, that I think it's so important to have art because art drives so much forward. You know, sometimes when words can't do it, you just need art. I always want to use art as a tool for positive change. And if that's as simple as creating something beautiful that people can enjoy and brightens their neighborhood, great. If it's something more impactful, uh, like a, a memorial to people who have passed or bringing attention to issues like global warming, climate change, sea level rise, which severely affects all of us in San Diego, especially if you're in like Imperial Beach. Um, you know, these are all the things that I think should be talked about and art is a great way to talk about them.